we take a look at uh, if statement uh, in Arduino, basically it is uh, most uh, mostly used as if, then you have a condition, then you have this curly brackets, okay? Which we call it a statement. But it can be written in several places. And the if, if statement is very helpful. It's checking if the condition, if it's true, I can continue. If not, then I have a problem, I can't continue. So it is, a, you know, the condition is a Boolean expression, e either zero or one, or you can say true, false, or low, high, it depends on our situation. Uh, example, uh, how to write uh, the if statement. Uh, this is a very nice example. I wanna share it with you, and this is very, a quick thing uh, I can say hey if X this is my condition okay if X is greater than 120 what you are gonna do make the pin called LED pin make it what high that means you set this pin to high digital right in Arduino that means I'm writing a value to this pin you can define this pin in your code, whether it is pin number 13 all the way to 1. It's up to you. Um, so let's say we have here LED pin is uh, pin number uh, uh, 11, let's say. Let's take a look at some of previously, you know, done experiments here. So this is pin 11, okay? So if I want to take a look at the code here, this is pin 11. Okay, how it is pin 11? Because I initialize the value. I declare my variable and I initialize it and I made it equal to 11. This is an equal sign. You are setting LED pin to be equal to 11. This equal is different than this equal. Here you are checking whether it's equal or not. Here, no, I'm setting the value of LED pin to be 11. So basically here I'm saying the pin mode which is uh, the pin 11, change the mode to it to be what? An output. By default, these are inputs, okay? Back to the if statement here. So if X is greater than 120, okay, and it was a true, therefore, you are gonna set this pin to be what? High, okay? How I'm gonna uh, write, and then you have the semicolon, it's very important. So this, this is the statement, and this is my condition. If the condition is happy, is satisfied, is true, then you can do the following. Is there another way to write this? Yes. I can say, hey, this is my if statement, this is my condition, and I can just, you know, click enter, and this is on separate line. It's the same, because if a statement is going to go all the way to the semicolon. Uh, another way to write it here, same thing. I have the if, then I have the condition. This is the condition. Then I can write, I can put my statement within a bracket. Okay, and this is my statement. Within bracket. But make sure, you know, that it's very, very similar to this one here. Uh, another way to write this, you can put if a statement, then open the bracket, put your statement here, semicolon, put another statement, semicolon, and the bracket is done. Clear? So all are the same. But here definitely, you know, we have LED pin 1, and LED pin. Let's say it's LED pin as the other one. You know, here, just to show you, I can write more stuff inside the bracket. Okay? Uh, so you can write it this way without the bracket, curly brackets. And here, similar to the previous one. If I want to use curly brackets, I use it this way. If I want to take a look at our experiment, we have the F statement. This is our condition. If this is uh, true, then I have my bracket, my curly brackets that belongs to uh, those two. They belong to what? 
they belong to this if statement. Okay? This bracket belongs to the void loop. So don't get confused. That's why it's very important to make them aligned so you can see the brackets. And this one here is aligned with this one to tell you it's for void loop. Uh, this is the F statement. You can see, hey, if reading is not um, equal to switch state, okay? So what you're going to do, you are going to open this statement. Then I have another F. If reading, okay, see here. If this condition is it true, that means the reading is equal to high, and the switch state is equal to low, okay? Then you are gonna do the following. This is my statement, okay? This is my condition. If this is a true, make the LED value opposite to the current value. So let's say we start with LED one, negation of it will be zero. So now LED state will be zero. Then I have a semicolon. Then I put another statement with semicolon. Then I put a third statement with semicolon. All these, okay, they are what? Under one curly bracket. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. That's it. See? So this is the curly bracket. But I have here my first statement, second statement. And that's what the reference is saying as well. If it's a true, then I have a statement inside all statements. Okay, keep in mind that you are checking here whether x equal to y. I'm not saying x is equal to y. No, I'm, I'm saying a check whether it's equal to y. Here, check whether it is not equal to y. This is uh, less than, this is greater than. This is less or equal. This is greater or equal. So just be careful, okay? Be careful. 